one of the tools I started recommending to people is to subscribe to the BookBub Daily Feature Deal email yeah. for their genre, because there you get a list of six or however many books that the good folks at BookBub have decided are going to be appealing to people of that genre. Mm. And every once in a while, I'll hit one where those tropes are so obvious. So I mm. believe that I'm probably subscribed to mystery suspense thriller. Mm. And one time of the six or seven books in there, almost all of them had a small silhouetted image of a man in black against <laughs> a background of yep. European capitals. Yeah, yeah. Building, yep. you know, uh, okay. yes, yes. building. And it, it's so striking. But one of the things I loved about Kindle Trends is you you make it so you don't have to wait until your bookbub feature deal email comes in. Yeah, yeah. So one of the things that I started doing, and again, a lot of the things that are in Kindle Trends are things that I started doing for myself, and then I shared them with my friends, and then they said, hey, can you do this for this genre? Can you do it for this genre? And so forth. And so having a cover montage every week is a really low effort way of keeping up with what's going on in your genre. I think of this as being like exercise a little bit every day or every week is something that's easy to keep up with and it attunes you to to what's happening also it gives you ideas it helps keep you creatively fresh so if you're thinking about uh, what guidance to give your cover designer you can go to the last couple of weeks or the last couple of months of top selling covers and scan down them and say okay so about 50 percent of them use this style and maybe 25 percent of them use this style and there's always one or two that do something completely different and so i'm going to pick out these ones and i'm going to send them to my cover designer to say, hey, can we blend some of this with my own individual elements? One of the things that I think I, I want to keep coming back to, Matty, is the idea that being market aware doesn't mean that you are driven by the market kind of slavishly. You don't have to adhere to all genre tropes. You don't have to adhere to all of the standard elements in covers. But it behooves you, I think, to be aware of them so you know where you are aligned with the norms of your genre and where you're differing from the norms of those of the genre.